Congrats on the win. Uh, take me through that final play. What were you seeing? Um, I mean, you, you knew Damon was probably going to have that shot. What were you trying to do positionally for the rebound? Any position, any opening that I can get just to flip it in there. Uh, I was just looking for any opening, pretty much. I, I knew it was going up. I didn't know how much time I had left, but I knew I had to throw it up. Yeah, it was kind of a blind shot by you. It was, it was over your head. I don't even know. I don't know where you were looking. It wasn't at the rim or anything. Did it feel good leaving the hand? Did you have any idea if it was going in? Yeah, I knew it was going in. It was like under the backboard, but the way I caught it, it was just so perfect. I was like, I, I got this. Like, I can flip this in there. I work on rebounding a lot when I was growing up, so um, it was a shot that I know I can make nine out of ten times. Have you had a, a last-second game winner before? Where does this rank for you in your basketball career? How exciting was that? Man, uh, top three for sure. Top three. Um, I was struggling in the game, but that's a good way to put the cherry on top for sure. Yeah, and, and how satisfying is this? I mean, Thursday's game, you guys battled so hard all the way to overtime, came down to the last shot. That one didn't go in. Uh, how satisfying is it tonight to get the game winner? We battle. Um, and I think we can compete with any team in this league, any team in the D2, like NCAA. So um, it's just about battling, and these close games is what really defines us as a team and us as a unit. Yeah, I think you certainly proved that these last two games, and then you the, the one-point loss, and then tonight uh, to win it by two. So talk about the momentum this gives you. A lot of energy, just the best feeling ever to, to win this one, and how does this help you guys uh, going into these next few games? It gives us a lot of confidence, you know, Central Washington, they beat the number one ranked team in the GNAC, Seattle Pacific. So with us beating them, it's almost as if we can beat any of the other nine teams in the conference. So it gives us a lot of momentum going forward. All right, there you go, Malik Briquette. Hey, congrats on the win. Great job tonight. Thanks, Way to finish it off. All right. Talk about uh, flipping the script, basically, almost the, the same game. I yeah. mean, it wasn't overtime, but how good does this feel to win it? Well, <laughs> yeah, I know it feels good. I mean you probably really don't care how you won it at the end. It's just that the basket went in uh, at the buzzer. And the best thing was they didn't have much time, although, you know, the kid got a pretty good shot there from half court. And I've seen those go in before. Yeah, but, we were uh, holding our breath there. Holy I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but, yeah, it was tough. Boy, it was a battle uh, both Thursday and Saturday. I mean, just defensively, and it's hard to get good shots and to finish. And, and you know, we I mean, we did a good job. We kept the lead most of the second half and hung around. And, found a way to get it but the best thing is we bounce back I mean we talk about you know whatever happens Thursday you know we got to be ready to play on Saturday and and we lost a tough one and and we came back ready to compete and that's what we got to do with with the remaining GNAC games just show up every night and and see if we can get ourselves a chance and I think we'll get better I think we have a team that will will get better with our young guys Absolutely, and, and you really had to manage some things in this game. Early foul trouble yeah. in the second half. Ajanaku and yeah. Jimmy Brown both with four early in the second, and you are already down uh, BJ, so you had to manage yeah. that. You had to find a way to sort of, uh, you know, keep that lead, yeah. and, and you did it successfully toward the end. Well, uh, we, yeah, big-time foul trouble. I mean, I don't know if I've been that early with the bigs. <laughs> and then we were, you know, we were minus Shabazz, so we were minus a big. Uh, so Sam Elliott played, you know, 20, 21 minutes. Uh, and he played Thursday, too. So, I mean, you know, that that's what Sam's all about. I mean, he just waits his turn and got us four assists. And and uh, so him and Malik really had to carry the load while the other bigs were, were in foul trouble. But, um, you know, we got to the end with Big E was still in the game at the end. The last, I think I put him in with about eight or nine minutes, and he finished the game. But it got pretty physical a few times. I think there was a few missed fouls there at times. But uh, we'll take it. Yeah, Damon Thacker, once again, I mean, season-high 26 points carried, especially early with those big three-pointers that he hit. Um, talk about his performance. No, it was good. And, I mean, he's playing a lot of minutes. Uh, you know, I don't think he's still in 40-minute game shape, uh, but he's headed that way. And, and tonight, uh, you know, between Wiggins and him, they're, they're really carrying the load. Brent Finn was coming off illness, gave us a few minutes. I thought our young guy, Sebastio, and – and and uh, Akpan too. Those two wings really did a nice job on Smith. And you know their point guard got away from us a little bit the second half, and he's you know, he can do that. But their bigs didn't hurt us. You know we double teamed them, and really we, the defense was awesome. I think mean, they shot under 40 percent, and that's kind of what we're hanging our hat on right now. And, and we're out rebounding people, so hopefully we can keep getting better offensively as we go. Well, Malik said it best when we talked to him just now, and. Uh 
you feel like you can compete with anyone in this league. You know, Central just t topped Seattle mm -hmm. Pacific, the number one team. You guys come in and beat them. Seattle Pacific beat NNU by one point tonight. You lost to them by a point, and you guys have to really feel confident after this one. Well, I th yeah, and we needed this. I mean, we, you know, we um, sometimes you just you know, need a big win to bring the group together, and we needed that. And, uh, you know, we beat Black Hills and had that disappointing home loss to Mines. And, you know, you're waiting for that kind of that signature win to maybe pull the group together. And the good news is we're playing a lot of games. We have, you know, we play Rocky twice next week. We got two the following week, and then we got the break. So we just, just need games and, and time together. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, being picked last, we just want to let people know that, uh, hey, we're, we're going to be in the building every night, and then we'll see what happens. All right. Yellow Jackets officially on the map. A big win over Central. Coach, thanks for your time. Okay. Congrats on the win. Thank you.